as we look at XRP and XLM compared to the rest of the crypto market, it's no wonder why people are leaving XLM and XRP as since the middle of October, the crypto market has been on fire. I'm going to share with you the reasons why XRP and XLM aren't moving as much as the rest and it has to do with people leaving XLM and XRP. So people have been asking reasons why is XRP and XLM not moving as much as the rest of the crypto market? Well, what I have up on the screen is the heat map since mid-October. Listen to these numbers and then I'm going to share with you the reasons why. Bitcoin is up 112% since October. BNB up 92%. ADA up 152%. ETH up 109 Doge up 60%. TRX, Tron of which I wouldn't touch, up 66 Link up 160 VeChain up 194 Crow up 97 BSV up 143 Onnit up 27 Sand up 87 Even Decentraland's Mana up 91%. But when you look at XRP and when you look at XLM, they're not up as much. XRP is up only 15% during that time period. XLM up 15% as well. Now, when we compare them, and don't worry because I've got a lot of reasons why people are leaving. Lots of reasons. But let's look at this. All right. So this is the comparison of the last six months. XRP in green, you can see right here, is up 6.75% last six months. But look at Render, TRX, BNB, ICP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, HBAR, they're all up big. And people are like, yo, all these partnerships, all this and that, why isn't XRP moving? Well, because other things are moving and that's where people are going. And listen to these comments. These are your comments that you've sent to me over the last several weeks. This is to the moon. Hedera Blue Pass Dollars market cap. That was my marker to fucking dump that forever sideways POS XLM trash. My side of things, I own HBAR because I believe in its mission. The only thing I dumped was XLM for BTC, holding onto the other coins as if it's going to be Wall Street shares. All right, let's see what else we got. This is from your MSR. XRP and XLM is doing great for Brad and Jeb. Thank you for the support, mostly for your funds. This is from Ben. Hi, Klaus. Hope you're doing well. You're right. I converted 95% of my XLM four weeks ago, and since my portfolio has literally gone boom. Diversify, follow the trends, follow the hype, follow the markets that move. All right. Underverse says, love your content, brother. Even with the launch of Sorban, XLM still sucks. All those hypes didn't even see XLM's price move to even plus 2%. In fact, the price went down 3.2% at the launch of Soraban. Eldritch Eel says, I've reached the point where I watch XRP videos just to get mad at myself for not buying BTC and ETH back in 2016 when I had a chance. Lester McPherson says, I think what's confusing the situation is the fact that other coins besides XRP are pretty quick. If XRP met an urgent need and was the only option, at this point we'd see the volume. The adoption isn't happening. People aren't building on it. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. No builders, no interest, no interest, no builders. Ronbo says NXLM drops and it's live referring to Sorabam. It reminds me of the boy who cried wolf after so many times the alarm's going off and it's a nothing burger. People get desensitized to the crypto news. Exactly. So if you're wondering why people are leaving. It's because other things are popping and people have gotten tired of waiting. This heat map shows the story. Look, look at all the moves since mid-October that are up 100% here, up 300% here, up 200% here, up 100% here, up 50% here, up 60% here. Well, XRP and XLM are only up 15%. Now, granted, some of them out there aren't up nearly as much, okay? And I get that. But we're going to try to compare like to like. And when you look at this, you can see it. XRP in the green down here at the bottom of the screen, just moving along sideways while other things are just rip roaring. So why is XLM and XRP not moving? Because a bunch of people are leaving because the performance isn't there. Octavio Rodriguez says, I'm skeptical about Sailor buying so much BTC. As for me and XRP, I was buying $10 a day, which is 70 bucks a week. Now I'm only doing $20 a week. See, so people are even buying less. So even the people that are still buying it are buying less. Octavio says, I have a feeling it's going to come down to under 48 cents. And when it does, I will buy heavy and then watch it moon and melt faces all the way to 67 cents. This is what's going on. Here's another one. Lawrence Williams steps up, swapped out both for some other projects. Talking about XRP and XLM. Amir says, I missed the last bull run. Never this one. XRP is being dumped by Ripple. I moved all my XRP to Ethereum 
Arb, Stax, and Doge. XRP will miss this bull run again. So people out there wondering, why is XRP and XLM not moving? Because a lot of people are seeing through the bullshit, all the over-promising and under-delivering, all the influences out there say boom and melting faces. Everyone's still talking about adoption seven plus years later. There's other coins and tokens out there that move money fast, so they're not the only player in the game. And when you're not the only player in the game, you're going to lose market share. And that's exactly what's happening. People are leaving because of piss-poor performance, over-promising, under-delivering, and the worst part is, it's not me saying this. It's all of you, and this is just the tip of the iceberg of comments that people are leaving, not leaving crypto completely, but they're moving to other projects that have less BS, don't have the lawsuits, don't have as much crap, and are actually starting to make juicy price action, which puts money in your pockets. Now, recently, I've been doing a lot of price comparing between XRP and XM. S&P 500, gold, other cryptos out there, Bitcoin, Ethereum, other things so we can see how does it compare to the market. All of those videos are showing up on the screen right now. So if you're wondering why people are leaving XLM and XRP, there's so many reasons and there's so many of you doing it. It's no wonder why XRP and XLM just aren't moving.